hold it back. A reed boat. The boat's tarred and shellac to be water repellent finish, just sway dancing in the current's ebb. Light as a woman in love, it pushes off again, cutting through the lotus blossoms. Sediment, guilt, unforgivable darkness. Anything with a half root or heart could grow in this lagoon. There's a pull against what's hidden from day, all that hurts. At dawn, the gatherer's shadow backstrokes across the water, an instrument tuned for gods and monsters in this murky kingdom below. Blossoms lean into the fast hands as if snapping themselves in half, giving into some law. Slow rhetorical light cuts between night and day, like nude bathers embracing. The boat nudges deeper with the ease of a silverfish. I know by his fluid movements there isn't a shadow of a bomber on the water anymore, gliding like a dream of death. Mystery grows out of the decay, dead things, each blossom a kiss from the unknown. When I stand on the steps of Hanoi's West Blake guesthouse, feeling that I am watched as I gaze at the boatman, it's hard to act like we're only two left in the world. He balances boat of Ra, turning left and right, reaching through and beyond, as if the day is a woman and he can pull it into his arm.